I wanted people to start outside so people collect on the side of the Park Avenue Armory and then enter up the fire escape stairs onto the balcony and you pass into this other world. This project is something that formed over a seven-year period. There are 11 individual above-ground wells that are occupied by professional mourners. Professional mourners underscore a certain tension between authentic and staged emotion and memory and invention and being spontaneous and scripted. There are these paths that bodies sort of feel inclined to follow and it initially often starts with enormous reticence and hesitation and anxiety and then there's this like slow creeping up and leaving of the communal Greek eparotic laments are primarily scripted except for one person who improvises with a voice like a bird Anibal is from Ecuador, where he regularly is hired to perform at funerals, often three to five a day, and has been working for over 40 years. And for Anibal, a lot of them embody the emotions of being sightless. The laments that Lala and Haji perform, they used to be performed by men and women together, but now is only performed by women for women. In the installation, men are not allowed to enter into where they are performing their lament. For the past years, I've been thinking about the space that grief generates and the performance of it. Anything ranging from personal loss or on a larger scale, the destruction of cities, terrorist attacks, mass shootings, and how grief is publicly performed in the wake of such tragedies. Ida Nicholson is a anthropologist who I worked with on the project. The shape itself sort of lays out this math equation in ways and when I'm in the balcony watching every performance it is this strange window into human behavior as you watch the ways in which the audience engages with this board of sorts. As the mourners stop performing and bodies move back into that collective center area, there's usually a confused moment of silence. And then this sort of cruel and abrupt sound of the roll gate rising up and the light of the city bleeding in. You're just sort of spit out onto the street, onto an anonymous street, not necessarily knowing where you are or where the subway is and 
there's no direction or uh, guidance given 